you are here after two months. Uh, I saw you two months back for uh, some sinus issues. You've been dealing with it for some time. Yes, sir. Would you help us uh, share your story as to uh, what has been going on with your sinuses over the last few years? Yes, I basically was um, diagnosed and struggled with several years. When I say several, ten more or ten or more, with what they considered was cro uh, chronic sinus issues to the point to where I was very um, prone to get some pressure build up and then be diagnosed with some infection in the sinus cavities as well as some um, ear ache, ear pain, and ear, some ear infections. Right. So two months back when I saw you, what were you doing about your sinuses at that time lately over the last one year? I had, uh, had exceeded to the level of where um, I wasn't comfortable with having three, four sinus infections in a short period of time mm -hmm. and medicating for them. So I actually went to a, no a nose, ears, and throat specialist, mm -hmm. at which time it was discussed with me being tested for allergies so they could pinpoint some of the right. uh, allergens that were going on with me and um, was then recommended that I take an allergy shot mm -hmm. as um, often to start with as once a week. Mm -hmm. Um, for an ongoing, there was no set period of time of how long I was going to have to do that. Mm -hmm. So I began the series of the shots, was on those for approximately nine months. Mm -hmm. And this, that's when we intervened right, two and months back. Right, and you intervened a couple months back. I can't say they didn't work or they did work. What I can tell you was it did not relieve or remove the issues I was still feeling within the pressure. And um, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really feeling as I was moving forward with much accomplishment. Okay. Can you elaborate on your pressure? Like where exactly was the pressure you used I, to feel? Yes. I, I had a lot of pressure through, if I may, mm -hmm. um, through the bridge of my nose, mm -hmm. down under my eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I always felt like, and it would go down my ears, but I just felt like I carried it in my whole, my whole head was hard to carry, if you will. Mm-hmm. And it was an intense pressure, which I would find myself doing this a lot, mm -hmm. squeezing my nose, trying to get just a little relief from it when it was in the heightened aggravation times. Right. So you were taking some allergy medicines too, apart from the shot? Yes. Above and beyond that, I also had been prescribed and had done this um, for a period of time where I was taking an, a nasal spray, a mm -hmm. steroid nasal spray right. that was supposed to kind of maintain mm -hmm. and offset some of the issues. Okay. So last time, two months back, what did we talk about and what happened? I came to you as mm -hmm. my primary um, for an overall health check and and um, you, of course, were very thorough, and I appreciate that. And, and we got on the discussion of what was going on with me and with the allergies and how mm -hmm. I felt about that and, and where my points of pain really were mm -hmm. and what, in, what improvement I felt that I'd gained. And in our discussion, I really hadn't made much headway. And mm -hmm. so we talked about um, doing something maybe different just to try it. Yeah. There was no, not going right. to be a loss in it. Yep. Um, but but maybe we could gain something. Right. Um, I was felt like I was really tensed up. I made the comment that my mm -hmm. head just felt heavy. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we talked about maybe um, intervening with some exercises, some right. stretch. Um, I was a little bit apprehensive, yep. but I, I have faith and trust in you. I knew I w it wasn't going to hurt me in any way. Right. But it may be something that would help with this process and. And at that time, I had made a decision on whether I should keep taking the allergy shots or if I could get some relief this way. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, you introduced me to some neck exercises right. that have just been marvelous. Okay. I have made great strides. Okay. Can you show us which exercises did you do? At first, when you wrote on to me, you asked me, um, and being a little bit claustrophobic, I was a little bit hesitant, but my trust is there. I wouldn't be your patient to basically set up straight, right? and at that time, you um, put your hand kind of over my neck and asked me to stretch it back as mm -hmm. far as I could mm -hmm. in, in a comfortable position, but yet a bit of a strained position for me. Right. Mm -hmm. So I would I did that, and you, you showed me to make sure I was doing it correctly. Right. And you did it for a brief amount of time, and you held it back right. and tucked in the chin. Mm -hmm. 
and just asked me to breathe normally, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. did it for a short period of time, and then mm-hmm. you said, I'd like to do it again with your permission, mm-hmm. and I'd like to hold it in position mm-hmm. and just breathe normally, but but let me do this for a short period of time right. for you to grasp the concept and for you to, to see what may happen. Right. So once again, you did that, right. had it set back, I was breathing, and to my surprise, I could breathe, felt as if I could breathe deeper mm-hmm. and with less effort, and I had a great relief of the weight, I guess I'm a big head, <laughs> of the weight of my head. Mm-hmm. It just I just felt some, some real relief mm-hmm. go through the back of my neck mm-hmm. and my shoulders, mm-hmm. and I just felt refreshed. Right. So what about the sinus congestion or stuffiness when we did that? It, it removed at that time. Okay. All right. And, that for sure and that's how we removed. determine that we are getting a mechanical response. And so you carried on with those exercises? Yes, we discussed it and you made sure I was doing it properly and, and gave me an opportunity to do it a few times so that you could observe. And um, I don't want to say I mastered it, but I think I did pretty good. Yeah. And so um, we discussed that I would continue to do that. And, mm-hmm. and um, you did leave it up to me how I wanted to proceed with allergy shots or what I felt was right. doing the best for me right. as the individual. Right. I did them for about a week and a half. Mm-hmm. continued to feel like not only did I feel the pressure mm-hmm. just going away mm-hmm. but I felt more refreshed more relaxed mm-hmm. to where I even start stretching other body parts but I made the decision to call and cancel my continuation with the allergy shots um, I don't foresee going back to those at any time so over the last six weeks I would imagine you have not taken any allergy shots right no sir okay and so how are you doing with your sinus congestion and stuffiness and your quote-unquote allergies I've never felt better we went through the summer mm-hmm. I spend a lot of time in the water and mm-hmm. um, which if you go underwater and you hold your breath and you breathe underwater or you swim underwater you know you're dealing with your nose your throat your ears mm-hmm. and I have religiously done the the exercises and mm-hmm. the controlled breathing mm-hmm. and I'm happy to say I don't think I've ever been able to breathe better and been more relaxed oh okay awesome that's so. that's cool so you are doing good without any medicines right correct yeah. and I feel like I'm in control of yeah. this journey and if I start feeling some pressure coming on I I relate some to stress we right. all have our stressors right. um, then I will stop and yeah. consciously make the effort uh-huh. to stretch myself out uh-huh. along with the breathing right. and I'm right back on track. Cool. Did you make, uh, we also talked about some posture. Did you? Yes. Um, right. We, um, you were gracious enough to, I became a sloucher, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, the abdominal muscles aren't what they used to be. I know they're in there, but they're not showing like they used to. Yeah. So I've made some adjustment in my pro, uh, in my posture, the way I, even the way I just begin to sit down mm-hmm. with my um, back completely up against and my buttocks, if you will, mm-hmm. up to the back of the sure. surface I'm sitting on, sure. setting up straighter, right. taking, and it's not a noticeable like I'm at a workout, but yeah. taking some deeper breaths, exhaling, bringing what I'm working on to me, mm-hmm. where I used to just in a hurry, convenience, would lean over right. and spend a lot of time there and right. riding and such. I've made a conscious decision, which now is becoming the norm, to set up straight yeah. my driver's seat in my automobiles. I also mm-hmm. have a lumbar support, mm-hmm. but it's not always readily available. But my um, automobiles, where my seat used to set my driver's seat side angle yeah. like this, right. it's now positioned straight up right. with, a, with a sturdy surface with my buttocks at the back of the seat, my shoulders pushed back, mm-hmm. my steering wheel where it's comfortable. Yeah. And it's it just I, I don't believe I'd be able to drive any other way at this point. Oh awesome. So you really worked on posture. That's right. cool. And I'm going to continue to work on it yeah. because it um, I'm a creature of habit. Yeah. And the only person that's gonna take care of you is you. Yes, that's how it works. So um, just a thought. So are you surprised sitting here two months later that I'm something grateful. like yeah I made the comment when you 
wanted to do that and basically had your hand somewhat over my mm-hmm. mouth protected to hold me right. back there mm-hmm. you know i I'm a, i am claustrophobic right um you know I, I i didn't think i had anything to lose but i was apprehensive right and when we broke it down mm-hmm. and realized that what i truly believe was more of a neck issue uh-huh. than a nose issue right um that was an eye-opener yeah it was an eye-opener for me